place. And silence makes people feel uncomfortable. We fill our lives with chatter, leaving TVs on, blasting radios, headphones permanently attached to our ears, a constant stream of noise. Now is the time to become aware of that uncomfortable silence again. Now is our time to be silent, to give us the power to think, to give us the power to act. It is our time to stand up for what we believe in, to make the world a better place. I found my voice when I stood up against bullying. This is my story. This is why I choose to be silent. I want to take you back to a time when I was 14. I had an injured ankle and was at school on crutches. I'd already spent the entire year as a target for bullies for being the girl who stood up for what she believed in. They made it their daily goal to make my life miserable. One day a classmate asked me if I wanted to go on a walk with the popular girls. They actually wanted to hang out with me. I knew they were bullies, but I was so desperate to have friends that I agreed. We started walking down this huge hill and the grass at the bottom became uneven with roots. Branches started hitting me in the face and we ended up in a forest. I sat down, I laid my crutches by my side, and the next thing I heard was the sound of laughter. And then the sound of my crutches being smashed against a tree, and I knew they were broken. And then silence. I tried to stand up and reach out for something to grab onto, but as soon as I bared weight on my ankle, I collapsed face down in the grass. I felt my chest tighten, a lump grow in my throat, and my eyes welled with tears. And as they poured down my face, I wiped them away with the back of my hand. Imagine this is happening right now to you. And now I need your cooperation. I need you to be completely silent for the next seven seconds. But remember this place you're in. You are a victim of bullying. Total silence. This darkness is my reality. There's something I haven't told you yet. I am blind. I am completely blind. I can't see my face in the mirror. I can't even see my hand in front of my face right now. And I certainly can't see any of you. My name is Molly Burke. It might not be apparent when you look at me, but I cannot see anything. It hasn't always been this way. I lost my vision when I was 14. And that day, I couldn't see the faces of the girls who bullied me. I was alone in a forest. I couldn't see, I couldn't walk. They took my crutches, my backpack, and my dignity. But I found my voice, and my voice is strong. You have your voices too, and together our voices are strong, powerful, and loud. United, we are one voice. <laughs> As powerful as our voices are, as powerful as our voices are, and as important as it is to speak out, silence can be powerful, and silence can be loud. So on Free the Children's Birthday, April 19th, I am choosing to be silent to take a stand, to make a statement for those who have no voice. 
People with no access to medical care, clean water, or an education have no voice. And when I was bullied, I had no voice. This is a year of change. And what makes this year's vow of silence different is that we recognize silence is not just a statement. It's not just a vow. It's a movement. And that is why we've adapted the name from Vow of Silence to We Are Silent. <laughs> Together, we will act as one. We will participate in the movement. We are silent. New to this year's Vow of Be Are Silent, we're asking you to be silent with your voices, but loud on social media. Blog, Facebook, tweet, post anything, anywhere. Make your silence heard. We want you to be silent with your friends, your family, and your schools, and with those who care about social justice too. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with my best friend, my ever silent companion, my guide dog, Gypsy. Gypsy, come on up. Gypsy, Gypsy, Vian, Gypsy, Ali, Poppy. Thank you, Ide. 